So I was just doom scrolling the other day, and I saw this one post. If working hard was enough, the donkeys would be running the farm. That line may sound funny at first, but that's actually an interesting line. I don't work at a farm, but after working in tech for a few years, that seems to be a backup plan. Well, jokes aside, hard work and consistency is important, but what's even important is to work hard the right way, and most importantly, in the right thing. The reason why most developers remain at the same level even after working for years is not that they don't work hard or that they are lazy, but because they get stuck doing things that feel productive but aren't actually improving. If you've been coding for a while but feel like you're not improving, this video is for you. I'm going to share five things that most developers do which are stopping them from growing. And most developers are not even aware of these. The first reason is not leaving the comfort zone. Most developers don't realize it, but the comfort zone is the silent killer of growth. These are the people who stick to the same stack, the same frameworks, the same types of projects, and call experience. When you stay in your comfort zone, you're coding, but you're actually not leveling up. I mean, you're building the same CRUD apps, the same solutions that you've done a hundred times, and when you're not working on something that you're not familiar with, you're not actually growing. Most people feel scared to try a new thing because they are afraid that they will fail. Albert Einstein once said, The person who never made a mistake never tried anything new. There is a line between an average developer and a top developer. On one side, there are developers who are scared to try new things because they feel like it will be hard or are scared that they'll fail. On the other side are the developers who deliberately step into discomfort. They tackle projects they've never done before explore things they don't fully understand, and dive into problems. That's how they grow by constantly forcing themselves out of comfort. If the problem never scares you, if your projects never make you feel a little lost, then you're probably not growing at all. You might think, what should I do if I have to do the same work every day at work? Well, in that case, explore new things after your office hour. That's what top developers do. They have their side project going on along with their main job. Now let's talk about the second reason, building only safe projects. Most developers stick to projects that feel predictable, like the to-do apps, small clones, tutorial projects, things they already know will work. These projects are fine if you're just learning to code, but it's not something you do to level up as a developer. And yes, it feels productive. You're coding every day, checking off tasks, and it feels like progress. But the truth is, safe projects don't make you better. Growth comes from doing the things you don't know yet. Building things that might fail, projects that challenge your understanding, and problems that don't have a clear solution. When you play it safe, you're not learning how to solve real engineering problems. You're just repeating what you already know. Think about it. The top developers didn't get there by copying tutorials. They built projects that were new and difficult. They experimented. They failed. And they learned far more from those failures than from any project that just worked. If you only build what you know will succeed, you're training yourself to stay average. The next time you start a project, ask yourself, is this a project that scares me a little? Does it push me into territory I don't fully understand? Because that's the territory where real growth will happen. Building 10 CRUD application won't make you a top developer. The next reason that I'm about to say is a problem for many developers. Not having a long-term vision. Many developers don't fail because they can't code. They fail because they don't have a clear direction. They jump from one technology to another, chase the latest trends, or learn skills without thinking about where it actually takes them. Front-end today, back-end tomorrow, and AI next week. By the end of the year, they haven't mastered anything. In short words, a jack of all trades and master of none. Top developers think long-term. They choose a path and go deep inside it rather than juggling 10 different things. They focus on building real expertise in areas that matter, not just chasing the newest hype. Without vision, you're just busy, not improving. And being busy doesn't mean you're actually being productive. You might be coding daily, learning random frameworks, or building projects that look impressive on paper, but none of it adds up to meaningful growth. What you need to do is first know where you want to go, what field you want to choose, and consistently work toward them. Every day, work towards that one thing, and it will compound into a real skill over time. 
Without focusing on one field and jumping from one thing to another, you'll stay average no matter how hard you try. Next reason is that many developers don't think like engineers. I want you to understand one thing. Coding is not the same as engineering. Most developers focus on syntax, frameworks, or which library to use instead of understanding the problem they're actually trying to solve. They write code, but they don't think about trade-offs, efficiency, or long-term consequences. Thinking like an engineer means approaching problems not to just solve it, but do it in the best way possible. The top 1% of developers don't just understand things at the surface level. They understand how things actually work, understand trade-offs, and think about solutions that not just works, but also efficient. That kind of thinking doesn't come from choosing a new framework. It comes from practicing an engineering mindset every time you solve a problem. If you're just writing code without thinking like an engineer, you're training yourself to stay average. To level up, you need to stop focusing on making it work and start focusing on making it work the best way. That shift from being a coder to an engineer is what separates average developers from the top 1%. Reason number five, avoiding fundamentals. Most developers focus on frameworks, libraries, or quick hacks, but they skip the basic stuff. Data structures, algorithms, system design, and networking are some of the building blocks of real engineering skill. Without them, your knowledge will be just surface level. Top developers understand that frameworks come and go, but fundamentals remain the same. Mastering the core principles allows you to adapt to new tools, solve complex problems, and design systems that actually work. What you don't want to be is a frameworker. You need to be a real engineer. If you want to move from being an average developer to a top 1% developer, you need to make your base strong, even if it feels slow or boring at first. So focus on making your foundation strong rather than choosing the best framework. So to wrap it up, most developers stay average not because they can't code, but because of habits like staying in comfort zones, building safe projects, avoiding fundamentals, lacking vision, and not thinking like engineers. The good news is these habits can be changed. Growth isn't about working harder. It's about working smarter, intentionally, and consistently. Step out of your comfort zone, challenge yourself, focus on fundamentals, and build with purpose. That's how you start leveling up and move closer to reaching the top level. If this video helped you rethink your approach to coding and growth, Hit the like button and share it with a fellow developer who's stuck in the same cycle. Make sure to comment down your thoughts about, can only people who are passionate about tech become top developers? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.